Hello everyone, welcome to Technomec Education. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how can you add different types of material in ANSYS Workbench and also you can customize your material according to your requirement. So first of all, you have to open any type of uh, uh, analysis like uh, static or thermal or model, whatever is your requirement. So here so here I have opened a static, uh, a static a structural or already. So uh, you can uh, open any one, any type. Then click on, double click on engineering data, or either you can click right, uh, right click and click on edit. then the engineering material uh, will be open all the library will be open then here you need to click on engineering data sources then all the uh, whatever the types of material all the pre-installed library will be open and you can see easily here and there are different types of materials uh, library are already given so here general materials or uh, in general materials you will get uh, for normal analysis okay so here composite material non need non linear materials uh, explicit materials whatever materials is required for your uh, assignment so you can choose from this library so how you can add multiple multiple uh, materials for your assignment so you can um, uh, follow this procedure So when you click on general material, you can see here uh, number of materials are given. So the default material is a structural steel, uh, which is present in uh, ANSYS uh, uh, um, version 15 and later. Okay. So when you click on add, then the material will be added in your assignment library. So like uh, aluminum alloy, I'm clicking here. So you just you have to click on. Uh, plus button and it will show by this uh, uh, blue symbol this material is added okay guys so like this you can click on uh, number of materials so I'm adding Like you can see this is the composite material library so if you want means we can add some material from here also and uh, you can see uh, when you will click on some specified material then you can see all the material properties of that particular material so all the young modulus thermal expansion density everything will be given here so you can check what is the uh, properties of that particular materials from this library only so from all different different libraries you can add your material there is no use after adding uh, you have to click on project to return your original interface so and here uh, after that you have to uh, add your geometry so here uh, uh, you can create or you can model in the uh, in this uh, interface ANSYS interface for using new space claim geometry or new uh, geometry modeler okay design modeler so or otherwise uh, you can import your geometry from uh, saved gallery like uh, um, import geometry means uh, you have created in some other design software like uh, ANSYS Pro uh, sorry uh, Creo Pro E CATIA SOLIDWORKS whatever so just uh, I'm adding geometry uh, store. then you have to double click on model or same procedure right click and click on edit So 
so it will take some time and a new window will come and here your geometry will come so guys you can see I have uh, imported uh, disk break model okay so you can see the disk break whatever I have modeled previously in uh, design software then I have imported here so now how you can uh, uh, switch your uh, uh, material number of material whatever number of materials we have added previously so how can you change the uh, material here in assignment okay so this is very easy process uh, you can just uh, you follow the procedure whatever I'm going to do okay so before applying boundary condition uh, you need to do all the things so here click on geometry and MSBR so this will show you okay so when we'll click uh, when you will click on msbr then on below you can see on below you can see in material uh, assignment is there so here the default material is a structural steel so that's why it will show it will show a structural steel only so whenever uh, you have to change then you just uh, click here the structural steel then whatever number of materials uh, is uh, uh, added previously all the materials will show here so you just uh, you have to click on that particular material whatever is requirement so I'm clicking on aluminium alloy so after that the procedure is same so after that you have to go for meshing so here I'm uh, doing a general mesh okay so this is the uh, procedure you need to follow so after that whenever you need to change again you uh, you have to come here and you have to switch your element and um, switching the element after meshing or before meshing it will not uh, affect on the nodes and elements so this is the simple process uh, you can follow and you can uh, change your material according to your projects so thank you guys thank you for watching i hope you understood this video so share with your friends guys and don't forget to subscribe my channel